one subject immediately comes to mind as appropriate from a footnote for Abram Isaac Alfinger and the Nakam Shalom Kayim Zed they could such a Baraka and discuss at the Azkara in his memory. It is, of course, the arrangements Avram Avinu made for a Shiddah for his son Yitzchak. The subject is obvious, and the names are all there. Avram and Isaac, the derivative of Yitzchak. And of course, Eliezer, the name that Rabbi Avram and Sylvia chose for the youngest child. He happens to be my son-in-law. I owe to Aliza, my elder daughter, the relationship I had with Rabbi Abraham Halfinger. Eliezer Halfinger was the Chirat And yes, Rat Hashem, they have children that make all the grandparents and made Rabbi Brum very proud. <coughs> Rabbi A loved the times he spent with them, and you've heard about his exchanges with Adin. And I witnessed the joy he took in their accomplishments and the love with which they embraced their Saba and with which they will continue, I may have Esri, to delight their Safa, Sylvia, the Badel Akayim Tobi So the Torah tells us that Avram Avinu empowered Avdo, Zakan Beso, Hamoshel Bechol Asher Lo, his servant Eliezer, to find the Shidduch for Yitzchak. Now who was Eliezer? No common servant. Not only was he Zakan Beso of Avram, but he was also Moshel Bechol Asher Lo. The Gemara in Yuma tells us that at Eliezer it was Moshe of the Torah's rabbi. He reigned over the teachings of Abraham. It was Eliezer who, according to the Gemara in the Durin, was Abraham's entire military force <coughs> when they rescued Lot. By Yorek es Hanikov, Yelide Beso, Shmonos, or Shloshmeos, by year I've done. The Gemara says, Shmona Asher Shlosh Meos, Gemara Ami Baraba, Eliezer Keneged Kula. Yikodiyabri Eliezer Kula. Rashi tells us, Eliezer Hayasha Kula Keneged Kula. Eliezer was the equivalent of all. Rashi adds, explaining the for the Amre, <coughs> that Eliezer the Gematria, the Shmona Asar Shlosh Meos. Shalom Hoya Imo, Ella Eliezer Lako. All Avram had with him when he went into battle was Eliezer alone. Because in the Gematria, Eliezer equals 318. No one was with Avram except Eliezer alone. Rashi cites his Gemara and the Dharan on his commentary on the Pasuk. When Avram Avinu questions HaKadosh Baruch Hu over the promise that his son will follow him, he says, Matitem li vanopi halet avriri uven meshek beisi uda mesek aliezer. Rashi explains, what does he mean by ben meshek beisi? Shekol Basi Nizon al My entire household is nourished by Eliezer's word. And for Damesek, Rabbi Lazar is quoted in Yuma as saying, Dola Mashke Mitoras Rabo That Eliezer would draw water, like drawing water from the teaching of Abram, and give others to drink from. Here, too, Rashi brings that Gemara his commentary on the question. Eliezer had extraordinary personal qualities that we'll learn from Avram Avinu. The Yalkut Shimoni tells us that Hoya 
Siv ikunin shalom dono. And shahu shalit v'yitzrot kamo. Eliezer was similar to Abram and ruled over his inclination like his master. And yet, with all that, there's this amazing medrash in Gracious Rabbah that contrasts Eliezer's statement when he speaks to Abram, Ulaibo Sova, Hokisho, Lakasakarai, Eliaris Hazos. Maybe the girl will not come after me to this land with his statement to Besuel and Lobon, where he says, Ulaibo Sele, Hokisho, Akarai. Ulai is written Moe with a vav when Eliezer speaks with Abram. But it's written Chaser without a vav when Eliezer recounts his discussion with Abram to the Sewer of Lot. So Rashi quotes the Medrash. That what? The Medrash says, Are you Yoshe who mashfield his people? Eliezer had a daughter, and he evaluated his daughter. Ruya he o no Ruya. Lasho Ahe. Is she qualified or not qualified to grab, essentially, to snatch the shit up of his before? Was she worthy? Amarlo, says the Medrash. So the lo is beaten. Ulai lo so the lo is beaten. He said, Ulai lo so when he spoke to Abram, maybe she will not come after me. And I'll give him my daughter. And that's why the Torah has Ulai later on written closer. Maybe Abraham would turn Ulai into Ewa so that Yitzchak might marry Eliezer's daughter. And she continues, Omar Lo Ato Arur Ulipo. He said to him, Omar Lo, you are Arur, your curse. My son is blessed. Aror <coughs> does not join with the Lord. What an extraordinary statement that is for Avram Avinu to make to Eliezer. Paragon of virtue. Could Avram actually tell this remarkable conveyor of his Torah, the man who so resembled Avram, who controlled the nourishment of Abram's household, who was so powerful that his support matched a whole battalion of soldiers. Ata Aru. Abram is the simple peasant of interpersonal respect. How could Abram Avinu have said to anyone, much less to Eliezer Ata Aru, who so my son Aru and I associate? Now, Eliezer may have understood the horror to refer to the fact that Noah said, Horror Kanan Eben Abadim Yi Eliyahu, who was Eliezer's vehicles to which Abraham was referring, and not Eliezer's personal vehicles. The commentary on the measure says, Af Shemitsad Ma Sefa Atodin Roy Atodin Boro Alamitsad Kuska Horror Atodin Leknan Shenemar. But nonetheless, the statement after horror is inconsistent with our appreciation of the personalities of Abram and Eliezer as we understand them in Kazakh. Is there a lesson that we can learn from this surprising exchange? Particularly a lesson relevant for life and accomplishments of Abram, Isaac, Pal figure. The lesson is, I think, that Avram Avinu was recognized by all, including his powerful servant, the Talmud Eliezer, as an Ishemis, a person who conveyed the unvarnished truth, the halakha of the ruler, even if it was painful for him to express it and painful to hear for the person who the message. The Medrash never explicitly says that it was Avram who said Arurah. The Medrash is related to the words and thoughts of Eliezer. He understands the reason why the Shiddah is not possible. But Avram Avinu 
convey his declination of the Shiva to this important man in more gentle and gracious terms with his legendary festival in Rockford. The Beliezer could not qualify to be Abram's equivalent because of a flaw in his pedigree. Abram was able to break the news about the horror in a manner that kept Eliezer loyal and devoted to him. Remarkably, after being told by Abram Avinu that his lineage was disqualified, Eliezer nonetheless said when his mission was successful that he thanked Okay, no resentment. The lesson of this account is not only in Abram's dedication to truth, but in how Abram delivered that message to Eliezer, and in the fact that Eliezer's respect for and dedication to Abram did not diminish even after he was told, I came forward to stop him from harm. This was one of the many sterling qualities of Abram. Abram Isaac. Shmo came as a Torah true Orthodox rabbi leading a congregation in a Boston suburb, as head of a Kashmir's authority that was respected for its integrity throughout the United States. He was confronted in many times with situations when he had to say no. But he said it always with the gentleness that all of us who knew Rabbi A. Palfinger and associated with him with consideration for the dignity of anyone who was affected by his decision. Eliezer's respect from Abram Avinu did not wane after his hopes for a shit of Kodesh, because Abram's honesty was a rich approach, and his humanity, his chesed, was universally recognized and was surely expressed now how Abram broke the news to Eliezer. By the same token, Rabbi A. Palfinger's stature, his total commitment to Torah learning, his understanding of human frailty, and his gentle nature, preserved for all who were privileged to meet him, even those to whom he had to say no, an ideal that exceeds feminine <coughs> shame to his halakhic decisions as a community rabbi may have imposed burdens or had implications that would have generated resentment and rebellion if declared by a less compassionate rub or one who lacked the empathy of Rabbi Adam Palfinger. Consider a woman who be told, after she completed year Galaka following an earlier flawed conversion, that she had to be apart from her husband for three months. Not welcome news but accepted because of the gentle and compassionate outfit and touch. And it resulted, as did Abram's Avinu's lesson to Eliezer, in even greater respect for the rabbi. We know that there were instances that our decisions were made by him in the field, but no one was left after his ruling with a feeling of personal affront or any less respect for his bad Akashras and the symbol recognized and respected throughout the world. There was between us a bond that surpassed the family relationship that our children formed. I would call him frequently, seeking solid, halakhic opinion on issues that might affect disputes in which my legal advice was served. I recall questions of Asabas Kuhl and Nekak Tos that I described for him and asked for his view. I proceeded with confidence when Abraham Isaac said that there was, in his mind, a line, a basis for my client's position. And I was honored when he would call me because a legal wrinkle had come up in a case before him, or because he was being asked his opinion about some new Massachusetts law that was being proposed. It seems to me that he accepted my judgment much more than American courts and judges. <laughs> there was the annual minute we developed early in our relationship to exchange newly published or newly discovered by adults before each case. We would each scour the Marcus Forum in our respective cities and send each other a newly issued adult. 
usually I would purchase for myself a copy of the Haggadah that I sent to Abe. And how frequently did I discover that he had found the same new interesting Haggadah and sent it to me. So I became a happy possessor of two copies. In a certain sense, it's fitting that as the art site comes during our service in the ritual, when we recite early every morning over Hatzot HaLayla, shlichos that include each day a different shlicha called the Akhita, which comes immediately before the congregation to recite the Bizim. The Akhita shlicha is a tribute to Abraham Avinu, and one can find in each day's Akhita lines that are called <laughs> Yesterday's Akeda Slika said about Ramavinu what could be said of Rabbi A. He could Kishura Shamar to safe the Bali Damar. Translated by Hart's Roll, he kept the command of the exact speech and heart This morning immediately follows the sleeper whose refrain and subject is Shalom, <coughs> or subject of the Siyam uh, that we heard in The goal that Rabbi Halfinger pursued all his life was the The Akeda sleeper begins, the Atan we made das, or terem la das. Abraham taught knowledge before it was known to all. Rabbi Halfinger's community had those to whom he patiently taught respect for an observance of Yiddishkeit from the ground up. And the sleeper continues. Derek and Shor Bakar, Torah, Mitzvah, Shomar, He chose the straight path. He kept Torah, Mitzvah, Shomar, And tomorrow's Akeda sleeper concludes with a tefillah appropriate to this askara and the family. Rachum titen shalom ha'k viso, uskar hayom v'gizo viso, v'yeser ha'kleita v'shar she viso, ki afkleita v'yo. Merciful one, who a feast in his posterity, remember his covenant today in his descendant's favor, for the surviving remnant in his remaining folk and then we come back to yesterday's Akeda, which says, Hu Avra, Hu Ad, He was appointed to be Abraham. His righteousness endures forever. That's an appropriate conclusion to today's Asmara. The Nafshat Shura, which is called.